Once again, banking while black. A black man tries to cash a simple check. He gets the police called on him. This happened in Arizona. All right, let's put up his picture full throttle. His name is Alleman Brewer. A man in Arizona was surrounded by the police after bank manager called the police on him because he was trying to cash a check worth $3,200. I guess that bank is not accustomed to a black man with so much money. It was the penal credit union in that county. Brewers Bank recommended that he take the check to the woman's bank to have the funds quicker. But as Brewer waited to receive his money, the bank manager called the police and told them the check presented by Brewer was fake. Now, how did this happen? Well, Brewer sold a speedboat, okay? He sold a speedboat to a woman on Facebook, Facebook Marketplace to be exact, who paid for the item with a check. And she said, uh, go ahead and take the check to my bank, you can cash it there, no problem. He goes there, he gets police called on. In reality, the check was very authentic. And they considered it inconclusive, but still the cops arrived. The manager called the authorities before calling the woman who wrote the check, verified it to be the bank while the police were on their way. The police officers were not aware or told that the customer verified the check for 10 minutes. Now here's the thing, literally the bank manager they end up verifying the funds. But before they verified the check and the authenticity, they decided to let's just go ahead and call 911 first. Let's make that our first obligation to the customer. And then after we call 911, we will verify to see if this check is real. And then once they confirmed the check was authentic, they did not proceed to call 911 again and say, hey guys, False alarm. So the police are still on their way. Um, let's put up that picture again. This is uh, the scene of the cops surrounding this young man who was simply simply trying to cash his check. Uh, it was just, oh, you know, black guy, locks in his hair, tattoos came on a Harley. You know, let's assume the worst Brewer said. Why embarrass somebody like that? Why, you know, make them feel less than a man. This came days after similar situation was uncovered where the film director Ryan Coogler was detained by police because they thought he was trying to steal money out of the bank. And you have scenarios like this that happen all across the country. Most of them do not receive media attention. Why do you think the bank manager, possibly a very trained individual as it relates to banking policy. Why do you think the bank manager, not a new employee, not someone who just became a banker, but the manager? Why do you think they decided to call 911 first and then verify the check second? David, what are your thoughts? My thoughts are this wasn't just about intimidation. This was about they wanted this particular African American man to possibly suffer harm because that's what's hap- that's what happens. When you call police and police come rushing to an emergency scene and suddenly there's a guy, there's a black man who may have dreads, may not look like the police. And then the police are gonna say what? Hey, show us your hands. And if he doesn't show you the hands the right way, then he gets shot. I mean, that is the chain of events that is a possibility in this day and age. And so shame on the bank manager. To me, it's racism. It's you're endangering somebody's life deliberately as opposed to doing your job, which is to just be responsible, take a deep breath and check out, okay, is this real or not? Let's, let's you know, the man's not being violent. He's not arguing, he's, he's cooperative. What is right. your problem? Yeah. Just check for the damn funds, okay? That's all they gotta do.